so growth of function is the topic of uh, discussion uh, today uh, before uh, going to dealt with uh, growth of uh, function uh, let me have a brief uh, story uh, begin the uh, growth of function actually do you know what is the purpose of studying uh, the uh, data structure as well as algorithms i think you know the main uh, purpose because uh, a yeah, computer user is the one who is capable of uh, doing some task with the computer right so if he is doing a task with the computer uh, we have to categorize the computer user according to the efficiency that he is using the computer some may use the computer to listen movie some may use the computer to listen to the song some may use the computer to uh, uh, conduct uh, uh, some analysis uh, with the help of some spreadsheet and other uh, kind of packages available and if you may uh, some may use the computer for programs in general uh, if you are uh, interested to be become a software professional and your objective is to do uh, programs or your objective is to do i used to develop a software which consists of some bulk of uh, programs or bundle of uh, programs right so uh, if uh, not only a computer engineer or not only a software engineer anyone anyone can take uh, anyone can handle the uh, and use the computer uh, for doing programs mm, for doing programs but uh, uh, what is uh, what is the thing is wait a minute uh what you have to do is you have to take uh the program uh, in the sense that your program should always uh, consume less memory as well as uh, consume more uh, so what is the thing is uh, see you might have your friends or colleagues or any relations who are studying uh, bsc computer science bca computer b computer science and uh, uh, me master me computer science means so so what is the motive of studying these courses so the ultimate agenda is to use the computer cleverly in order to uh, do some programs in order to do some programs uh, what is the kind of programs that you wish to do what is the kind of program that you wish to do is Uh, any problem that can be solved using computer while you are writing a program see i am giving a problem uh, if the problem is given to you the different categories of students are asked to solve the problems uh, all can solve the problem because they know computer programming and they use the computer programming uh, with the help of uh, some strategies or some steps and they do the programs and they solve the uh, problem uh, but what is the final thing is who is an efficient programmer efficient programs anyone can use the computer and anyone can do the program for finding solution to the problem but the question final is uh, who is a efficient programmer so what is that efficiency so that's what the question here according to the syllabus that is uh, analyzing algorithm and designing algorithms uh, see uh, if i call 10 students to solve the problem of insertion chart insertion chart 10 students can have their own idea and can have their own logic and solve the problem of insertion chart uh, by following their own uh, kind of logics and they return they have to write that logic as a step called algorithms so they have to design an algorithm they have to design an algorithm if and only if they have design an algorithm then you can convert the algorithm into a executable statement like called a program and they can feed it into computer and find the solution but uh, while you are uh, going to uh, say who is an efficient programmer in that case you have to analyze the algorithm you have to analyze the algorithm how to analyze the algorithm what are the various uh, methods available for analyzing the algorithms the methods available uh, in order to analyze the algorithm are growth function or growth of a function see in general when you want to uh, analyze an algorithm there are some standard functions are available and that standard function is a function that depends on the input size input size 
say for example if you are uh, de developing a program just to add two numbers and that number is a two digit number the time taken for adding a two digit number uh, will not be the same for adding a 10 digit number so for adding a 10 digit number little more time has been taken so what is the thing is if you take the in input size n equal to uh, 2 uh, then uh, then it is a 2 uh, then it is a uh, a 2 bit length uh, wait a minute So the growth of function uh, is uh, denoted with respect to uh, the input size, uh, where input is in general represented uh, by the letter n. Uh, and that n will be associated with some standard functions like uh, log n, uh, n square, and other kind of stuff. So what you can do is, we, you have to do uh, some kind of analysis that is based on some assumption. assumption. You have written a program for uh, shorting n numbers and if you are going to short n numbers and if that n number shorting uh, that n number shorting is uh, based on uh, uh, 10 that is the input size n equal to 10 then it be, be uh, some kind of shorting and if n equal to 100 then it will take some other amount of time not only that, not only that, it is also based on the arrangements. Say, for example, if the numbers are already in a arranged order, that is ascending order, then it will take some amount of time. If it is uh, some random manner, then it will take some amount of time. And that, if it is in the reverse order, if it is reverse order, then it will take some amount of, some amount of time. So this is the scenario. So this is a scenario. So you may not have a clear cut idea what might be the uh, kind of input or what might be the size of input or what might be the number of input you have. Right. So in that sense, you have to uh, work it out. Uh, in general, you have to say uh, this might be the um, uh, time taken by the uh, or time consumed by the algorithm or time consumed by the program uh, by the by means of some assumptions by means of some assumptions. so with the with the help of some assumptions uh, you can say that this will be the time consumption of the program. and that time consumption will be termed with the help of some kind of notation and that notation is going to be called as asymptotic notation so in general it will take a symbol theta uh, the theta will be used to notate the uh, functions. So asymptotic notations with respect to a function and with respect to running text. So these are the things that you need to do. So say for example, if you could see that, if you could see that, see the running time theta n square, theta n square, it will be the worst case running time for insertion side. What is that? What do you mean by that worst case running time? That means 
uh, that is the program that you have written or the algorithm that you have written for insects and that uh, maybe if i ask a 10 guy to write an algorithm the, all the 10 guy have written the same same kind of algorithm and uh, if you want to uh, analyze those algorithm with respect to uh, n that is uh, that is based on input based on input not only the number of input but also the uh, I think I just know I told that the arrangements or the pattern, the order in which the input is coming. Uh, in that case, assume a situation. Assume a situation. If the number is already, if the number is in uh, descending order, so what do you have to do? Every time you have to take pick the first element and put it in the last location. The second element put in the last but previous location. Third element last but previous previous location. Like that is so. If it has hundred elements, then the element that you are going to take will jump from the first location to the next location, next location, up to it is go up to 100th location. So it does, it needs uh, that much amount of comparison and that much amount of uh, jump from one from its place to uh, that neighbor place. So that is treated as worst case running time. It is theta n square. That is, if n is equal to 10, then it's a time taken is 10 to the power square. That is 100. So that's what the idea is. And it is an assumption. And it is an assumption and it is based on. So that is the thing that uh, you, you need to do so what is so in general you you, you have uh, theta notation for analyzing the worst case as well as a big o notation for analyzing the average case and omega notation for analyzing the uh, best case like that you may have and uh, you have that uh, idea with respect to a graph so that is uh, f of n is the standard function f of n is the standard function that you want to estimate and g of n is the function that is uh, consumed by the algorithm g of n is the. so if you go to draw a theta that is average case theta is the average case see, see the f of n should be between c1 and c2 so if you could read the definition this definition is a mathematical definition you should uh, follow that so theta of g n is equal to f of n what is that you should have two positive constants c1 and c2 and one n naught n naught that is one sample from the set of n value so that that n either should be greater than or equal to n naught. If that is the case, that f of n should be in between and the multiplication of constant with the uh, standard function g of n. So that is the idea. That is the time taken for the uh, you have to represent it with us. So if in graphically we could say that it is in between the uh, two categories c1 of n g of n. And if you could see take the uh, big O of n, the fang function is always uh, below the uh, c of n and that uh, for omega it is above so that is the idea here so omega notation always gives the lower bound lower bound because this c g of n is lower than the f of n and this c z of n is uh, upper than the uh, f of n that is a uh, big o of n so big o of n and theta of n uh, is uh, one which is uh, going to be bit of this uh, f of n g of n so that is the case we write f of n equal to omega of g of n if there is there are positive constants so when you are going to define it mathematically so, so what is the thing that you need to do or you need to understand from this is uh, you can define a, a standard growth of function under three categories under three categories so that is uh, theta of n, what is that with respect to average what is that with respect to burst and what is that with respect to uh, lower lower bound so you may say that so how this uh, g of n c2 and c of n is the uh, function that is actually taken f of n is the one that is going to be computed by you uh, based on this so what is the idea that is uh, used uh, recurrent you can use either recurrence relation or you can use a mathematical induction principle in order to derive the uh, time consuming for the algorithm uh, you may say that uh, whether that function is a negative or whether the function is a positive. See, if that is the uh, time taken is uh, more than the time that what you have uh, asymptotically uh, represented, then it is a positive or a non-negative. You can say that or it is a tightly bound. You can also say that. So, uh, students, if you want to read the book, you just understood the uh, keyword when it is going to be uh, tight bound and when it is going to be non-negative, when it is going to be positive. So this is the thing. See, whenever you read the book, uh, you just uh, highlight the word that is uh, put it in a dark uh, or bold form. So the bold form is the one which is useful for you. See, I already told that it is nothing but uh, the way in which that is derived is based on mathematical induction principle, or you can you, you can use that case. So what is the thing is, uh, see, this is the notation. 
and what is the, whether it is good or not what you got to do is you can do some action is uh, identifying the common thing and you have to divide this and on all the both the sides and you will get the uh, some value and this is going to be the function this is going to be the one by two minus three by n so that means this will always set a function and if you take this function uh, if you multiply that if you multiply that you will get uh, something which is of n square so you after omitting the uh, constant you may end up with n square so what is the thing is so it is the so that is the idea so how this theta n square have come how this theta n square have come for a particular function because so this is the g of n this is the g of n value and if you put this g of n value that is the f of n value for that g of n this is g of n and for this is f of n value that is computed so here no way how this computer function is but how it is related how this the theta of uh, n square is related with respect to this function is a discussed so you have to after having dividing this value on both the sides we have got this function if you elaborate this function this function will be uh, asymptotically uh, a positive function and it can uh, say that because it, it's a lower bound it is very tight and it can be deterministically uh, uh, we can say that because of insignificant value of the large value insignificantly larger value of n so that way you can say this value so that is the idea here uh, when you are going to do this uh, that this big notation is upper upper bound asymptotically upper bound and uh, the, it's the same thing so if you go through these content that part of the content that is discussed with the theta the same thing is uh, so for zero degree polynomial it is the theta of n to the power zero and it is equal to theta of one and uh, big of notation c uh, for there exists a constant c only one constant and that c should be uh, greater than uh, f of n that is uh, so upper bound and for row is low and for lower bound it is less than it is less than that is uh, less than the f of n so that is the idea so no need to study about the theorems and all just you study about the notations and uh, its uh, definitions not only the uh, mathematical definition but also the uh, general definition general definition where you can find general definition so general definition you can find it is the here so big one notation is used to describe the running time of an algorithm by inspecting all the algorithms overall structures so like that you can give the theoretical definition and you can uh, 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 with respect to the graph that is illustrated here you can also uh, make a use of that uh, thing and you can understand the idea i think you uh, yesterday you gone through the insertion chart and you all know about the insertion chart i think um let me uh, go through that uh, getting started insertion chart yeah yes so it is very easier i think so uh, for you uh, because you already study insertion it is like a card game so like a card game you have to uh, make a deck of cards uh, and the deck of cards will be uh, the one which is uh, uh, treated as a set of numbers and you have to insert so every time you have to see if you look at it here uh you have to uh, look at the position whenever you want to choose the number that number has to be the, the block dark so this is the first number so you have to leave it so the comparison starts from the second number uh the second number is compared to the first number if it is lesser you can swap otherwise you can keep as it is then you go jump to the third position the third position number is compared to the second position number if it is greater so likewise the swapping wave process will uh, proceed uh, one position to another position in that uh, manner right so the, you, you you know it well but what is the uh, how to compute the function how to compute the function so you have to compute the function in that way uh, how the what is the effort taken for initialization what is the effort taken for maintenance so everything you need to analyze what is the taken for uh, termination so everything you have to analyze and how many number of uh, uh, comparisons and how many number of uh, printing and how many number of looping everything you need to calculate before uh, Come to a conclusion of the standard uh, functions. That is a growth function. And after the growth function, you need to think about uh, its uh, theta or big O or omega according to the situations. So that is what uh, the uh, growth of function, asymptotic notation, is standard. So standard notation, common functions are uh, n uh, log n, uh, t n square, n cube, and all. So those things will be very useful for you in order to devise the uh, function into the so many ideas and other things, right? I think uh, with this, I will uh, close the uh, idea here.
and uh, because only uh, you need to take a 10 to 20 minutes uh, session because it will be easier for you to refresh the idea whenever i upload it in the youtube if it is more than the minute then it is not uh, easier for you to know the idea and it also looks like a clumsy so with this i will stop and what i expect from you is uh, you should uh, uh, what is that uh, you should uh, study these things study these things uh, read that book i will give some standard uh, mcq question for you to practice for you to practice i will take it from the book and i will give you uh, i will test whether you have read the statement correct or not in the google form right so don't forget uh, read the content because the content is not newer and the topic is also not newer it is very well easier to for you to understand and it is written in very simple english and it can easily master so what you have to do is simply read simply read so you cannot memorize and you cannot uh, uh, just uh, uh, swallow all the concepts just to read just to read just read repeatedly i think you can have this book from the uh, google classroom just to read the book and you can uh, so analyzing see analyzing algorithms uh, you see you can find that so like that yeah, i told that how to analyze algorithm it is based on how much uh, memory consumption you can take so nowadays the memory consumption is not at all a, a matter but uh, even though it is uh, the one which is needed to be analyzed how much memory it is taken how much uh, uh, time it is uh, taken so for that you should understand how the ram model is constructed that is a random access memory model is constructed and when you are doing that operation how the that operations will get uh, uh, get into picture and how that one will be so so that is the running time running time so you should think about two things so the running time should be based on the input size so what are the thing i am telling if you just read the book that you can uh, easily understand the idea so how to calculate this see this is the cost this is the cost see for executives for the instance so this is what the uh, next topic is about the recurrences the, the, the recurrences if the recurrences they mean the substitution method so what is that see uh, for this uh, executing this statement uh, you the cost involved is say for example cost involved is c1 how many times it can be executed for j equal to only that is executed n times n times because it is say that a dot length a is the one which is accepted as a parameter so that much times if it is uh, n number the argument that is passed here for uh, inserting this, that means n times and c2 what is c2 this one within the for so this is executed n minus because if the condition condition failed is one time it is counted here once the condition is failed it cannot enter into the insert so it is n minus one likewise for all the other sequences and this the cost is so likewise you have to put you have to draw so how to calculate the running time this one and this is called the one which is the set is in the syllabus uh, that is a c1 into n plus c2 into n minus 1 plus 0 this is c4 into n. so like so if you summarize this you will get the uh, standard function uh, it is a so, so if you summarize this you can get a function some constant into n minus some cost so n minus uh a or n minus some constant like that you can put so this is the way you got to do the uh, function analysis that is uh, substitution method or uh, finding a recurrence relation after that you have to analyze the worst case and the average case so after analyzing the worst case and average case with respect to probabilistic behavior and with respect to randomized behavior then you should say the order of growth or rate of growth so how to base say the order of growth and rate of growth with respect to the notations with respect to the theta notations because in general you expect the worst case scenario and that scenario will be helpful for you to understand the idea right so i will stop the recording i will post it in the google classroom uh, you can listen to it and uh...